the tragic tale of EDP. EDP445 has been fired from three different jobs over the last couple of weeks as a result of people exposing his employment to TikTok. Dang. He's apparently completely out of money and as a result has been evicted from a few different properties and he's now living out of a suitcase in a couple of unconventional crappy locations. However, the craziest update in the EDP445 tragedy is that only three weeks ago, according to one of his former YouTube buddies by the name of Felipe, the big man himself has actually been put behind bars. This is the um, Henderson, Nevada Detention Center inmate Brian Moreland would like to receive the call. And I said, I said, yes. Things have gotten he so got bad. locked up. Bro, I hope he goes into detail like before he was like famous. I don't know. I don't really know a lot about EDP. EDP, the right now as we speak, he's applying to have his name legally changed. However, in a world of tit for tat where you unavoidably reap what you sow, it's hard to say that this punishment is undeserving. And in this video, you'll see how bad things can truly become if you plant weeds in your garden as opposed to flowers. To what extent should a person's life be ruined for the mistake? made in their own past at what point if ever should edp 445 be forgiven for his own foolish decisions does edp 445's work completed prior to his cancellation hold any residual value or is it what kind of content does he make i don't know i have no idea rendered completely and utterly useless from the second he showed up to that cursed Bakersfield motel. We asked this last question because prior to the 18th of April 2021, things were actually going reasonably well for EDP445. If you look at his social blade graph, you'll see that he gained 520,000 subscribers over the course of two months in April and May of 2020. People loved him because he was one of the last few YouTubers who had absolutely no filter. He was unconcerned about ad revenue and therefore swore like a trooper while tackling some of the most crass yet hilarious topics. EDP 445's unconventional mind was always spoken honestly. So he stood out. And he got the, views, bro. Half a million on almost everything. Unique. It's not surprising either. In a world where everyone else online is always walking on eggshells, trying not to offend anyone, EDP 445's brash attitude and unapologetic approach to life was somewhat refreshing for those who saw the world in a similar way. However, of course, such an approach wasn't without controversy. In 2017, as a result of his unconventional content, he'd be banned from YouTube for a period of two weeks, while Twitter was a little harsher, placing a ban on his main EDP 445 account permanently. Additionally, after he was big for being a, a Eagles fan too, mm. hitting 1 million subscribers in early 2020, YouTube refused to send EDP a gold play button, stating that the channel didn't match their eligibility criteria. Because according to them, my channel doesn't match the criteria. And I'm like, my channel has zero community guideline strikes. It has zero copyright strikes. EDP would YouTube, I'm gonna say this right now, YouTube racist. YouTube racist. YouTube is racist. Gained support from other large YouTubers such as some ordinary gamers who stated that the refusal was stupid. YouTube, can you just give this dude his play button? If he doesn't get his play button, I'm gonna buy him his play button. While well, EDP was also made a custom YouTube play button by a fan of the channel, displaying the love and support he had from the community at the time. However, perhaps YouTube and Twitter were able to see something objectively that those who loved and supported him could not. They might have seen that a man with such an unfiltered mind may have also been hiding some dirty skeletons in the closet and correct is what they would eventually be. On the 18th of April 2021, EDP 445 was caught in 4K on his way to pick up a cupcake. The topic was covered by almost uh -oh. everyone in the commentary community. I'm sure by now many of you have at least heard of the EDP 445 situation. Creators who supported him in the past, such as some ordinary gamers, would upload a video titled EDP 445 needs to be arrested immediately. Why has EDP been dropping hard? Because EDP is an individual that actually got Chris Hansen. And after it was revealed that a similar situation had occurred as many as eight times prior, many considered Dang. EDP unforgivable and his life would subsequently descend into a state of chaos, what you might call the beginning of the end. In the seven days following the expose, EDP445 would lose 200,000 subscribers, Jeez. almost 10% of his entire count. However, how many followers he lost initially didn't actually matter, because seven days later, his remaining 2 million subscribers would disappear entirely after YouTube decided to ban his account altogether. Hey. At the time of his banning, EDP was exactly 30 years old, and had been creating content since 2010 when he was 19 years old. So the 179 million views deleted in the process meant that his entire portfolio of work 
work completed in his 20s, 10 plus years worth of labor was wiped out quite literally overnight. One mistake was all it took for YouTube to decide that EDP 445 no longer deserved either his celebrity status or any kind of record relating to any of his work completed in the past. Another method that EDP had for earning an online income was Cameo. You could order a personalized video and get EDP to say anything you instructed him to for the low price of $44. I don't feel any However, like chat, I don't feel any sympathy, I'm gonna be honest. Dude is a pedophile. You wanna go pick up a cupcake? Bro, fuck out of here. Weird shit. Following the infamous cupcake event, Cameo would be contacted by numerous individuals who would receive responses along the lines of, hey there, thank you for reaching out. Our team is aware of the allegations and are active. I do, I'm, I'm be honest, I do want a cupcake though. Like uh, like a Funfetti cupcake or like just a, like a cake in general, Funfetti, or like vanilla ice cream sound fire right now, bro. It's been so long since I had like cake. You know what I mean? Like dude, like maybe, Kenji, please. I'm sorry, I'm fucking hungry, bro. Red Velvet, ooh, that sounds fire investigating this. Thank you for bringing it to our attention, kindly Melita. Less than a week later, EDP 445's Cameo account was deleted. Another income stream had gone up in smoke. EDP 445 then attempted to switch to Facebook. However, after gaining 6,000 followers, he'd be banned from the platform. It was the same story over on Instagram. His main account was terminated, at which point EDP was likely coming to terms with the harsh reality of his cancellation. However, just before his- That's not Facebook even cancellation. That's like, that's not cancel. There has to be a different word. Or maybe this is cancel cancellation and then everything like people just throw around cancellation so easily i feel like this is like peak cancellation you know what i mean like blacklisted no like you're fucked jail time a crime yes that part later he'd make one final interesting announcement he planned on making his own website to which he would continue posting. banished bro is it not weird that motherfuckers like back in the old day bro like motherfuckers were just getting exiled you know what i mean like fuck cancellation they're just like you leave now like bro you can't you just gotta go thousands of miles in one direction fuck out of here be gone exiled to the wastelands you know what i mean videos edp 445 announced over on facebook that he will be making his grand return to the internet with his own website to return to his old video type i guess just want to let you guys know man edp445.com um it's coming soon been been about like a week maybe two weeks from now edp445 seemingly got to the point of fully building the website as discussed by tipster here on youtube it still says coming soon still says today's date it does look like edp is actually serious about this whole launching a website thing However, after an apparent falling out with his website developer, as mentioned, Exile is still a current prison sentence negotiation. Wait, you can actually still get exiled? That is crazy. Mentioned in a Reddit comment, the launch seemed to fail. Update, That's wild. the website is now returning an error 500. So it looks like he's been having a little bit of trouble launching the site hasn't been working so well for him. And to this day, the page remains as an unlaunched inactive website. In spite of how much of a scumbag EDP 445 truly was, you have to give him credit for sheer determination because he'd then begin to upload videos on another third party website called 3Speak TV, where his account would be met with the same fate. It Dang. was banned. He wrote, for some reason, my channel was deleted. I don't have a clue what's going on. I didn't violate any guideline. Can you please tell me what's going on? Yeah, buddy, you're a diddler. EDP. After this ban, it seemed as though EDP 445 was slowly getting the message from each and every website. His career on the internet was finished. However, the internet wasn't finished with ending his career. Rich from Review Tech USA would state that he might be able to get a job working somewhere like Starbucks. However, it was only going to be so long before the trolls would come and inform them of his past. But I don't even know if you can get a damn job at Starbucks and keep it because you know the trolls are going to come after you and say, oh yeah, that guy you just hired, I wouldn't keep him employed. You'd probably lose a job at that coffee shop too real quick. Rich would be correct in this statement. EDP 445 moved from Bakersfield, California to Henderson, Nevada following the expose, where it seemed as though he managed to land a job as a Lyft driver in October 2021. However, this job would be fairly short-lived as a video- They got him? They got him fired from Lyft. <laughs> Yo, they're dead. The internet is dead dedicated bro love to see it they some feds no bro it is wild lift is crazy posted to tiktok by a user called lennon Jimenez would expose adp 445's lift profile bro went from wanting cupcakes to driving for lift and his position as a driver would subsequently be removed by the company the situation would promote reddit discussion with one post stating adp as a lift driver how the mighty have fallen Crazy. which received comments such as can you take me to the grocery store i'm gonna go buy some cupcakes and i hope he doesn't get on any food delivery apps <laughs> mf would eat my fries and i'd have missing slices of pizza however somewhat hilariously it was revealed shortly thereafter that adp had 
had in fact been driving for both Uber Eats and Grubhub, which would also both fire him after finding out about the drama. He was driving Lyft, he was driving for Grubhub and Uber Eats, and all three of those companies fired him. Yo, that face tat is fucking crazy. What is on his face? I want to get a face tat, but like, what the fuck? fuck does that say bro got squiggly oatmeal in cursive on his face what the fuck according to a very basic unconfirmed source edp also apparently applied a chucky e. cheese but for obvious reasons didn't seem to focus, get the fault. position edp 445 no longer had the ability to make money online or in real life as this Hi, what's up, dude? unless he were to find some extremely low skill niche job where they wouldn't check his name online and where he wouldn't have to interact with any customers who might I'd expose him to whichever company he might be working for. With so many obstacles in the way of finding even the most basic of jobs, it's hardly surprising to- I would just sell crack, to be honest, would you? Find out that EDP has been attempting to change his name legally. The application shown on screen states that Bryant Morland applied for a name change with the Nevada County Court on the 21st of October, 2021. The strange part about this is that when you try and search the court register from the Reddit post by typing in his name, Bryant Morland, it now states that there are no results found, possibly indicating that EDP 445's name change has been successful and he's no longer known as Bryant Morland. As you can see, I did type in his name, Morland Bryant. Submit. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. His voice was crazy. I'm sorry. It, it, will I get canceled if I mock him? Like, if I do his voice? What is that voice? Like, probably. Nerd. No. Yes. No. Probably. The voice is crazy. Like, I'm gonna end up being a lift fucking driver if I, if I try to, like, imitate his voice. Bryant Morland. As you can see, I did type in his name, Morland Bryant. I'm just like, who? Oh. Submit, no results found. However, the problem- No results found with this as outlined by the ADP 445 subreddit is that he's not exactly hard to spot. This idiot thinks this will fix anything, Lameo. He'll be spotted everywhere no matter his name. He should flee to Cuba or something like this. Changing his name isn't a good idea since it's gonna get leaked anyways. What good does changing a name do when well, it's as easily recognizable as him, lol? He needs to lose hundreds of pounds and get a hair transplant. Perhaps the goal is to have his name hidden for long enough in order to get a job, as other sources state that he's been unsurprisingly struggling with money. He's broke like youtube made him money but after having that he got it broke real quick a user by the name of master at work who was one of the people trying to expose edp all the way back in 2020 stated in october that edp had less than three thousand three hundred dollars cash left in his account plus two cars and a couple of other things that he might be able to sell the only income that he has other than the 3300 that he has left in his bank account is maybe the 40 grand in weapons and the two cars that he owns however in the two months since october users on reddit used his cars license i didn't know all this bro that edp 445 has sold one of his cars, possibly indicating that his cash stack has dwindled even further. In the same live stream during which Master at Work would discuss EDP's financial situation, he'd also mentioned that EDP had been evicted from his apartment complex as the property owner received numerous complaints about having him as a tenant. Call up Spur Apartments and verify for yourself. Um, EDP will no longer be living at Spur Apartments. The reason why he got evicted is because of a const constant harassment the property owner has been getting. Since then, EDP has been living out of a suit case at various hotels however even then his detractors have been going around trying to get him kicked out of wherever he happens to be staying holy so shit is everyone in here okay so i did talk to yeah. security go ahead and let security know all i will information. be more than happy to let yeah. them know thank yeah. you very much adp yo yo they're going crazy they are ruthless bro right holy shit detractors have made his life such a living hell that if anything an arrest or a short stint in prison would almost make his circumstances more comfortable we'll preface this part by stating that there have been numerous i don't think i don't think that would be smart yo if they find out that motherfucker's a diddler it's rat in jail they don't play that boy you're done your asshole is taken buddy you're about to get they're pounding that shit my fault. Sorry, I'm tired. I'm a little, I don't have a filter right now. Numerous accounts of EDP being arrested. However, they never seem to have any rock solid proof to go along with it. So take everything said in the next section with a grain of salt. In late October, a YouTuber by the name of Matt Simon seemed confident that EDP had been arrested, yet provided no evidence or reason for the arrest. EDP has been arrested. Today is October 25th. Why does he talk like that, bro? Chat today, we're going to watch this Sunny V2 video. It is 11.30 at night and EDP has been arrested today. And he was actually arrested today. My fault. 
you, 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 oh, but I, I don't know what he was arrested for. This claim clearly lacks credibility. People in the comments requested evidence to which there seems to be none. However, a former friend of EDP 445 by the name of Felipe claims to have some stronger evidence pertaining to the potential arrest of EDP 445. Less than a month ago, on the 3rd of December 2021, he'd uploaded a video titled, Is EDP 445 in Jail? In in this video, no, Felipe explained that while out having dinner, he'd get a call from a private number stating that it was EDP 445 who was being held at the Henderson, Nevada Detention Center. So the third time I picked up, um, I was like, you know, hello? And it said, uh, this is uh, the Henderson, Nevada uh, Detention Center inmate for for Brian Moreland. Would you like to receive the, the call? And I like hung up, you know, and then called again. And the same, the same thing happened, you know, would like to receive a call. So I, pre I said yes, because I was like, you know, I was just curious to see like, holy sh like he got arrested, like, like, wow, you know? The issue is the only evidence that he's able to provide is for no caller ID calls on his iPhone, which isn't exactly rock solid evidence to say the least. And Felipe's character is suspect at best. He only gets views when he talks about ADP 445 and without ADP on the internet to defend himself, anyone can say anything. Additionally, mm. if ADP did successfully change his name in October or November, as mentioned previously, this would prove the story to be fake as the guy states that it was Bryant Moreland on the other end of the phone. One comment stated, looked up every inmate recording Clark County, which is where Henderson is, Kern County, which is where Bakersfield is, and Manatee County, which is where Bradenton, Florida is, which said that he was connected to online. No Bryant Moreland is in any of those prisons. In the end, it doesn't really matter whether or not he's in actual prison, as it's safe to say that EDP is a man who made a mistake so bad that even outside of concrete prison walls, he barely has a drop of freedom. That's crazy. That is crazy, chat.